Hi, so a while ago I was asked uh, about uh, keeping attributes or color or whatever when you do a VDB and you do some deformations on the VDB and uh, usually the setup is just you do an attribute transfer and that leaves us with not the perfect result. Uh, so I came up with a workaround, it's very basic, but I thought I shared it anyway because I haven't really seen anyone doing this. So I'm just going to drop down a sphere, let's do it like this. Let's do it a polygon, let's give it 50 frequency and let's just paint something on it. Paint attribute and let's just paint a happy face like that. Awesome. And to make it a bit more visual, we do this as a color. So we're just going to do ram from attribute, type in mask here, give it some nice colors, red and blue, why not? And then we're going to do a um, VDB from polygons. So the regular setup is we do the VDB from polygons. We do our volume VOP, for example. And let's say that we to make it simple. We just rename this to density. Density, dense, density. So we can just access it immediately here. So we just do an AA noise, or we do a unified static, sorry. Unified noise static. We plug in the position. And we add this to the density. So we do like this. And the amplitude is way too high and the bands are way too low. So let's bring this up to 25 by 25. And let's bring the voxel size down to 0.2 and realize that we're still too high, so we do a funnier noise. We don't do simplex, we do cellular noise, like that maybe, and bring the frequency up a little bit. We do the other way around. Let's do it like that, that's cool. So we have a strange noise here, and uh, when we're done with this, we do the convert VDB, and we do an attribute transfer with the CD from up here. Let's transfer the CD and oh, there we go. So we have this, we even miss it, we don't even get it here. I don't know why really, because we, yeah, I guess it's closer to the red ones. You see, it doesn't work very well. If we were to take this lower, we could probably get it to work if we bring this down to something like this. We would have the color here, no? We should have the color here though. Oh, because we didn't convert it to a polygon, sorry. So, <laughs> my bad. Uh, let's bring this up again and we can see. Yeah, we get something. It's, it's very, it's not very nice. It just applies it where it's closest. So the option here is instead of doing this, we do add this as a uh, VDB as well. So we do point dot CD and we do a VDB name called CD, the VD, CD, sorry. Uh, so then we have the CD here as well. In a volume bop, instead of just doing this, we bring in our uh, attribute so we do a uh, volume sample here instead so instead we add our noise to the position so we do add here and we do this in 3d noise we won't get exact same result because we do to 1d noise and 3d noise etc but we still add our uh, sorry we add this to our position and then we do the sample position with the noise on and we plug that in. And if we now just to visualize this a little better, we just convert the VDB and we see we get this instead. So it's hard to tell in here, but we get a similar result. Not exactly the same result because we have a different kind of way of doing this, but we could we can get similar results and we could do what we want here. We could still deform it, etc. Uh, 
so what we do as well is we do a volume sample vector for the uh, for our CD. So we just plug in the file here as well, as we do primitive one, and then we take the position for the CD as well, and we bind export it as CD. We call this CD. We do it as a pre floats. And when we convert it, we don't see anything. We can do the silver transfer, we get that result. But if we instead drop down a wrangle and we plug in our volume up here, and we just type in uh, that we want to sample the color. So we can do at CD is equal to volume sample sample vector and we take our first input take a first primitive and we take at position and we get this so what's the difference here the difference is that the noise has been deformed the same way so it will be quite clear if we bring up the amplitude we can see that the noise follows the color follows the noise, so it gets it placed in the same way. So it gets quite fucked up here, of course, but the same if we were to animate this, we will see the clear difference. We bring it down to zero. We see that, sorry, bring this down to zero. I should remove a noise up. And when we start displacing this, we see that our color follows the vector. Uh, the, the density while if we were to do the same thing and look at this one we can see when we displace this the color doesn't move it just stays the same so we don't get it doesn't displace the same way it just transfers on the closest point and I think this is a lot more interesting and better to work with of course this looks fucked up now but I mean this is a very hard noise so not that much to do about it just keep that simplex instead and bring down the amplitude a little bit and also like if we were to add fractals you will of course see what we get we can do standard to get it even more fractally and you can see as we bring up the roughness we get the same roughness on the, the colors so I think that's pretty handy for some things uh, could definitely useful so yeah that's pretty much it thank you